Hi, good evening. Welcome to the Cheadle Hume School Virtual Open Week. Uh, my name is Adam Haley. I'm the Head of Art here at Cheadle Hume School. And I'm going to talk to you about all things creative here at CHS. We're live in the art department on the third floor of the main building. Um, I'm going to talk to you about the creative curriculum here at Cheadle Hume School. And tonight you're going to hear from art, music, drama and design technology. Um, creativity is crucial to everything that we do here at Cheadle Hume. Uh, it's part of our curriculum and it's valued by, by everybody in the school. Creativity really is in our DNA. We try to foster an innovative approach with, with all students and Mr. Axon uh, talked to you about that last night during his session. We want all of our pupils to explore the arts and explore their creativity and they're expected to participate in the arts either on the timetable or as part of the co-curricular timetable. We want all of our students to foster a love of creativity uh, and build that individuality that those kind of lateral creative thinking processes um, kind of carry out. Uh, creativity uh, really does enrich all that we do here at, at Cheadle Hume and we, we think that it enriches our school life. Our calendar is, is full of opportunities for, for students to get involved uh, with the creative process from music concerts to drama productions to art exhibitions at Manchester Art Fair to design technology competitions. So tonight you're going to watch a video from me, the Head of Art, uh, Claire Harms, our Director of Drama, Luke Dunn, the Director of Technology, and Andrew Pettit, who is our Director of Music. So pour yourself a glass of wine, relax, and you can watch my video now. Thank you. Hi, I'm Adam Haley. I'm Head of Art here at Cheetah Hume School. I've been here for six years. Um, we've got a designated team of four staff, three full-time members, and myself, I'm a specialist in painting, Claire Bennett, who's our textile specialist, Rachel Baker, who is our ceramic specialist, and Claire Penkett, who's part-time, she teaches photography. We've got a designated full-time art technician who supports all of our students across all year groups. So students join us in year seven, and our theme is about introducing the formal elements to them. So they'll have one hour a week where they'll learn about space, form, tone, texture, shape, pattern, and color. Students will complete one project where they explore their own identity and start to think about who they are as an artist. In year eight, students will then go on to explore those skills that they've developed in year seven and complete a creative carousel with drama, music, design technology. In year nine, students opt for a pre-GCSE experience where they'll complete one term in ceramics, in painting, and in textiles. At year 10, they then opt to take their GCSE with us, and again, they'll complete one term in painting, ceramics, and textiles, opting to specialise in year 11 in their designated chosen specialist area. They'll then complete the GCSE with that teacher. At A-level, all students get their own designated studio space, and at the end of the year, we work towards the final end of year show. The work is presented in our studio spaces in gallery format and we also exhibit at Manchester Art Fair every year. Manchester Art Fair is perhaps the highlight of our calendar. We're the only school to be associated with the fair and our students exhibit alongside professional artists and craftspeople across the North West. Art collectors have purchased our students' work in the past and this gives our students a really nice access into professional careers. Art at CHS is incredible as it gives students a voice and it allows them to express themselves in an environment unlike any classroom. Students operate in a relaxed and purposeful environment. So our creative philosophy is underpinned by the, the theories of Ken Robinson. We want students to understand the mediums that they control and we give them time to control that. Once they've understood the properties and the knowledge behind what they do, we want them to explore and take risks. And only then will we provide judgment and critique and give them that nurturing environment which they can excel. So within our creative process we provide a very clear framework so students know how to get from A to B. But within that framework students are given time to incubate a talent and given time to develop and nurture a skill. But we also want them to expand and explore new horizons. Once students do that we want them to find their spark and once they find the spark hopefully a tidal wave of creativity then follows. Every year Students go on to study at our top universities across the country, from Foundation at Central St Martins to Architecture at Glasgow School of Arts. Hi, I'm Sky, and I'm at Lewis School at Chino. Um, I love art because I'm really creative, I always have been. It's something that I really enjoy, I think I'm quite good at it, and I'm, just, I'm quite expressive in an artistic way. Um, I also really love it here because of all the 
like things you get to do, all the experiences, the teachers are really good. They give you such like constructive criticism and it makes, I've definitely come on so much since I've been here. Um, well, I think the skills I've got, like maybe I'd go on to like after school, I'm thinking about unis, but yeah, I really love it. The art's really good thing. Hello, my name is Andrew Pettit and I'm Director of Music at Cheadle Hume School and I'd like you to uh, welcome you to the Music Department. So there are four academic uh, members of staff including myself and in addition to that we have 24 further visiting music teachers who provide music lessons for over 300 pupils uh, every week and in addition to that they support uh, the academic staff with co-curricular activities through the week. So in Year 7 we, we cover a variety uh, of topics and, and units of work. Um, first and foremost is that we want as many pupils to have access to music, whether they are, uh, have a strong musical background or whether they're yet to discover their, their passion for music. And the way we do that is we introduce instruments of the orchestra and also instruments of pop and rock music. And they do tasks to learn about those different instruments. Um, and then they are invited to have lessons with one of our visiting music teachers um, and then they go from there and if it's not for them that's fine but within the classroom themselves they uh, do ukulele work and they do keyboard work and it's all linked to elements of music and also the uh, different uh, styles that we cover. There is something for everybody, more traditional music but also more contemporary music. The co-curricular provision in the music department is vast. We have, uh, again, ensembles and choirs and groups for every uh, different taste uh, from year seven upwards. Um, so we have choirs uh, of all different ages. We have orchestras, we have jazz bands, we have concert bands, but also going away from the more traditional side, we have uh, rock bands and pop groups that rehearse for uh, the gig towards the end of the year. But we also have uh, ensembles coming through such, such as electronic music ensembles because we have VMTs such as DJ uh, VMTs. So the breadth that we offer is far beyond the traditional side of music that is often seen in music departments. The three large events that we have each year usually will be uh, starting with the Bridgewater Hall for our celebration service um, and then we have two concerts at the Royal Northern College of Music in the centre of Manchester. One at Christmas, one at spring, and all the ensembles that we, uh, that we have through the co-curricular activities uh, rehearse through each term as we build up to these uh, fantastic opportunities. And it really is a wonderful occasion um, for the pupils to, to perform in such a huge and professional space um, uh, supported by a warm audience. In addition to that, we have a numerous internal uh, performance opportunities. Again, whether it's for solo uh, concerts or the, whether it's smaller ensemble concerts. In addition to that, we also provide a wonderful uh, community aspect, especially at Christmas time. We'll take, take choirs out uh, and our brass group to hospitals, to local uh, doctors, uh, residency homes, um, and uh, to really provide the community uh, with the support musically. Okay, so the High Performance Programme is an opportunity for any uh, Year 7s, or those in Year 6 currently, that are looking to come to Cheadle Hume School and they can come and audition to me if they think they're around a grade three or four standard at the moment on an instrument or voice and they'd like to audition and if they are successful in gaining a place on the high performance programme we will offer up to two funded sets of lessons each year as they go through uh, their CHS career. In addition to that we um, see them perform in all our concerts so they support us as much as we support them and we also provide resources and we put on trips for, for the HPP pupils. So they would go out to see um, such as the BBC Philharmonic Orchestra at the, um, and the Halle at the Bridgewater Hall and last year we also went to the Lowry to watch Swan Lake. There's lots of information on the website. We also have pupils that are currently on um, the HPP programme that you can hear about. But in terms of applying, um, like I say, you need to be around a grade three or four standard 
um, but then you can apply through the admissions process which is on the website. In addition to those that think they're at a high level uh, of a grade 3 or 4 standard, we do take um, pupils that have uh, maybe grade 1 or 2 but they don't feel that, 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 that grade 3 or 4 standard yet but we're doing something called an endangered species program. So for example instruments such as bassoon and trombone and double bass and viola if you would like to audition to get lessons on one of those instruments that's a wonderful way uh, onto the HPP program as well. The whole um, opportunity that pupils have to get involved in co-curricular activities not just uh, musically progresses uh, the pupil but also from a pastoral side as well the way that they can make friends in year seven so many year sevens will be coming and feeling a little bit anxious uh, about making friends here and it's an absolute fantastic opportunity and it is not uh, to be really clear it's not just about pupils that already have uh, lessons on an instrument or the voice we have samba bands we have choirs uh, we have uh, rock bands as well as I've already mentioned those kind of activities there for pupils who want to have a go at music but don't necessarily yet have lessons on an instrument. Hi, my name is Claire Harms and I'm Director of Drama here at Cheadle Hume School. In the drama department we have, including myself, three specialist drama teachers and we've also got a, a technician, specialist technician, that we actually share with the music department. Drama is on the curriculum right from year seven up until sixth form and so if it's something that students want to pursue they can do it right way through school. In year seven they have a drama lesson once a week uh, with a specialist drama teacher in one of our three studios. What we're really looking at is the ability to work in a group, to have that ability to communicate with each other, to negotiate, because that's really important skill as they go through school. Beyond year eight, drama becomes an option, and so that's then for students who have developed a particular interest in drama. And then, of course, we have GCSE and A-level available too. So there's lots of opportunities for students to get involved in drama in the curriculum. We have a lot of opportunities for students to get involved with drama um, in the co-curricular activities of the school. We do three productions usually per year. One of those in the autumn term is a senior production. Then we have a whole school musical theatre production, usually in the spring term. And then in the summer term, we have a production that's really aimed more towards the lower year groups. The other opportunities that we have are um, to get involved with productions on the technical side. So we've got really fantastic facilities and our productions, but also our A-level and GCSE work is performed in Holden Hall, which has sort of state-of-the-art uh, technology, fantastic lighting rig. Finally, we have a year seven and eight drama club that runs at a lunchtime. That is purely for fun. There's a lot going on. So we're really proud of students who have gone through Chile Hume School and have been involved in drama and have then taken that further. Particularly proud at the moment of Amy Lou Wood, uh, who was class of 2012, as she's currently um, starring in the Netflix Sex Education, but also Johnny Green, uh, who was class of 2014, who's also just been in a Netflix show uh, white lines um, so we're really proud of the things that they are achieving um, and seeing that students have had a really good start to their drama career here at Tudor Hume School. My name's Luke Dunn and I'm Director of Technology at Tudor Hume School. So Year 7s begin uh, developing their skills in the iterative design development process by doing a project designing novelty coat hangers for a children's ward. Um, and this is to get them thinking about real world users and real world contexts 
and we get them using hand and machine tools as well because for many students it will be the first time they've been in a proper workshop uh, from the DT activities they'll have done in Key Stage 2. Uh, they then move on to do a mobile phone stand and that's using more the computer aided design tools that we've got in the department and using the laser cutter as well to produce the final outcome. We believe it's really important that when the younger students walk into the department they, they see those, those great examples of GCSE and A-level work. So every year we completely refresh the department so when students are coming in from day one they're looking at the best of the best of what the older students are doing to really aspire to that. Um, and every year we have a joint exhibition with the art department. We invite all the parents of the GCSE and A-level students to come in to see the work that's been made that year. So a few years ago we, we made an effort to ditch paperwork as much as we could um, and so where students would have once had photocopied booklets in year seven eight and nine they now bring their iPads in and all of the work is digital and it's all distributed through Google Classroom and when students do sketching and they do their designs they then digitize that with their devices so it's all online in the cloud as students move up the school they uh, tackle more a greater variety of projects with more uh, tools and materials and processes in there but they're still focusing on the ability to develop their iterative design skills and you know, so much has changed in the subject from when I was at school in that you all made the same thing with the same tools and the same processes and came out with the same outcome and now it's very much about students taking ownership of that creative journey and it being much more about project management skills and creative problem solving skills uh, and we see that as totally relevant to any future career path or, or field that you may work in, um, especially with all the challenges the world's facing at the moment. So it's not just woodwork and metalwork anymore. Those skills are still in there. We still come in the workshops. We still do fun, creative things. But it's more about the thought process and the journey that they go on and, and the journey being more important almost than the destination in, in what they do and what they produce. Hi, my name is David Hunt. I am the Chief and Digital Officer of Abbas South New and the former CEO and a major shareholder in Havas Links, which is a creative agency headquartered in Manchester of just shy of 500 people. I left Geo Hume School in 1998, and it's fair to say that design technology had a really big role on my career. Today, I use creativity, I use innovation to try and have a, a positive impact on patients' lives and to make a real difference and take pride in my impact on, in society. And there's no question, the lessons I learned, the skills that I picked up at Cheadle have had a big impact on my life and it's the reason I now find myself in, in Los Angeles doing a job that I absolutely, absolutely love. At GCSE, um, there's some really exciting projects. The students get given contextual challenges by the exam boards, which change each year, which keeps things fresh and prevents schools from developing fixed house styles as to how they respond to things. Um, so one from last year was how can people be more comfortable when travelling and that was great because students got to think about what do we mean by comfort, do we mean kind of mental comfort, physical comfort, with the environment we're in, what do we mean by transport, are we talking about cars, planes, buses, on foot, who are we talking about, what's the target market and students go on this really broad investigation thinking about all the themes and we call it the hourglass approach that they start broad and they narrow it down to who they're going to work for, what they're going to make, why they're going to make it, and then they get to branch back out again and do all of the relevant research and investigation for that. And all of this happens before they even begin to put pencil to paper and design things. They've got to go through that academic reflective process um, and take real ownership of it. And uh, A-level, um, they don't get the themes from the board. They have to identify a real-world problem and a real-world client. Um, and that's great when, when you see them doing that and they take complete ownership of the process. Um, and you know, we talk in education quite rightly about the value of independent learning and about metacognition and about problem solving and we think you know, we've got that absolutely in abundance in DT and when you see those students just take over and go off and, and, and take complete ownership it's fantastic. Thanks for listening, I hope you've enjoyed the four talks tonight from our four creative departments. Before I sign off, I just want to uh, signpost you, we've got our live parent-pupil takeover tomorrow on Twitter. You can ask questions from anything about life at CHS, the admissions process, to, to what the dinner's like. Uh, just email er at chschool.co.uk to get your questions in and they'll be answered tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. Uh, finally, you can catch up on all the content on our blog, on the website. And if you have any more questions, just email the external relations team. Thank you. Have a great night. And uh, it's Tottenham, uh, Chelsea in the, uh, yeah, bye. <laughs>